Hello everyone, welcome to System Software and Compilers Module 3 lecture video. In this lecture, let us solve some uh, exercise problems on finding the first and follow sets. Consider the first problem. Consider the following grammar yes derives A B C or A D capital A derives E S or C R C derives C derives F or P. Find the first set of uh, the non terminals of the grammar. So, here let us write the first set for all the non terminals. First of S, yes. first of uh, A, first of uh, C. So, first of S, yes. first of S yes can be obtained by taking the first production ABC or AD. If we consider the first alternative, then we will get the non terminal a and from the non terminal a we can get the small letter e which is the terminal symbol e and a non terminal c so from the non terminal c we can get f or p so the first set of s contains f p e from the first alternative and from the second alternative we will get A the terminal symbol. So the symbols which are obtained from S in the first set of S are A, E, F, P. Now coming to the first set of A. From A, we can get the terminal E or we can get the non-terminal C. So, from non-terminal C, we can get the terminal symbols F and P. So, the first of A contains E, F and P. In the same way, first set of uh, C contains F and P. So, these are the first set of all the non-terminals from the grammar. So, first of S, first of A and first of C. Now, let us consider the second uh, example. For the following grammar, find out the first set for all the non-terminals. The grammar is S derives X, Z, Y or Z, B, Y or Y, A. X derives x derives d a or y z and y derives g or epsilon z derives 
एच और एप्सिलॉन सो नाउ वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट द फर्स्ट सेट फॉर ऑल नॉन टर्मिनल्स ऑफ द ग्रामर सो फर्स्ट ऑफ फर्स्ट लेट अस कंसीडर द लेट अस कंसीडर द ज z first of z is equal to h and epsilon because z can derive h and epsilon so h and epsilon are present in first of z then coming to y first of y is equal to so from y we can get g from the first alternative and epsilon from the second alternative so here g and epsilon next coming to the first of x so first of x can derive da so x can derive da or yz so here in the first alternative the first symbol is a terminal symbol so that terminal symbol is in first of x then in the second alternative we have got the non terminal y so from y what are the symbols that are present in the first of y those symbols will be present in the first of x so here first of y contains g and epsilon so these both symbols will be present in first of x so g and epsilon in the same way first of yes first of yes will derive uh, the non terminal yes derives x z y in the first alternative in the second alternative z b y and in the third alternative we will get y a so from the first alternative we will get the non terminal x so the symbols which are in the first of x will be present in first of s so first of x contains d g and epsilon now first of the second alternative we have got a z here the non terminal so the symbols which are present in the first of z are present in first of s so in uh, first of z we have h and epsilon already epsilon is present h is not present in the first of s so we will write h here then in the third alternative we have got a y which is a non terminal so from y we are having the symbols g and epsilon in the first of y so these symbols will be present in the first of s so already g is present and also epsilon is present so here completes the first set so these are the first set for the non terminals of the given grammar consider the next example so here for the grammar again find out the first set for the non terminals of the grammar so the grammar is is derives a x b x derives g h or i j so here first 
for the non terminals s and x we'll find out the first set first of x is equal to so x x production is having a two alternatives so in the two alternatives the first symbols both are terminal symbols so these both g and i are present in the first of x so first of x contains g and i so here the next uh, non terminal is first of s is equal to s is having a only one alternative in the production so s derives a and the first symbol is a so first of s contains only the terminal symbol a so these are the first and first set for both the ter non terminals s and x the next problem is yes derives a x y b and x derives x derives c or epsilon y derives d or epsilon so for the grammar find out the first and first set and follow set for all the non terminals of the grammar so the first first set of y first set of y is equal to here we have got the production y derives d or epsilon so we here in the production there are two alternatives and the first alternative gives the terminal d and epsilon so these both symbols are present in first of y so the next one is first of x first of x in the production x derives c or e there are two alternatives again and the first alternative gives the terminal symbol c and epsilon so these symbols are present in first of x so terminal symbol c and epsilon then first of s first of s first of s is having one production that is a x y b and the first symbol on the rhs is the terminal symbol a so this terminal symbol a is present in first of s now coming to the follow set follow set of s yes. okay in the follow set of s yes, s yes is the starting symbol of the grammar and already we know that uh, for the starting symbol if you are finding a follow set initially we need to place a dollar symbol in the follow set so we add a dollar symbol in the follow set of s now on the right hand side there is no s so we don't have any symbol following s so only dollar is following then coming to follow of x follow of x now 
here x is present in the first production and y is following y contains y contains uh, y is following so the first of y the symbols present in the first of y are following x so first of y contains d and epsilon so we can add d we can add d in the follow of x and we cannot add epsilon to the follow of x and here if we place if we substitute y derives epsilon in this position then y goes off and the next symbol that is following x is b so b is following x so we can add b so these are the two symbols that are present in the follow set of x follow set of y follow set of y is equal to here b is following y so follow of y contains only the symbol b let us consider the next example yes here i have a b d a derives small a or b s b and b derives small b or capital d capital d derives small d or epsilon epsilon so now let us find out the first set of all the non terminals let us consider the non terminal d so first set of d contains d derives d or epsilon so we here we have got two alternatives in the first alternative we will get the small letter d which is a terminal symbol and the epsilon so d and epsilon are present in first of d the next uh, non terminal is first of b so b the production b derives small b or capital d so here in the first alternative the terminal symbol b is present so that is the first symbol that can be derived from b so that b is present in first of b and uh, b derives d in the second alternatives which are the symbols derived by the non terminal d or the symbols which are present in the first set of d are also present in first of b so the first of d contains d or epsilon so d and epsilon are present in the first of b the next one is first of a so first a the production a derives a or b s b so in the first alternative of the production we have got the terminal symbol a so that terminal symbol a is present in first of a and Uh, in the second alternative in the second alternative b is the symbol which is a non terminal so what are the symbols 
present in the first set of B, those symbols will also be present in first of A. So, first of B contains B, D and Epsilon. So, these symbols are in first of A. So, B, D and Epsilon. So, in the same way, uh, the last uh, non-terminal is uh, S. So, first of S. First of S is equal to. So, first of S contains. First of S contains the A. First of S contains A. So, Here, first of yes, in the production A is the non terminal. So, which are the symbols present in first of A are present in first of yes. So, first of A contains A, B, D, or epsilon. And uh, if A takes uh, by substitution, if A goes off by with the substitution of epsilon, then uh, the, the B symbol will come. So, if B symbol comes, the first symbols from B are present in first of S. So, B, D, epsilon. So, B, D, epsilon are already present in first of S. In the same way, D if B also goes off, then uh, we, we are left with D and uh, D contains D and Epsilon. So, those symbols are also present in first of yes. So, first of yes completes here. Now, we will find out the follow set of yes. Follow of yes is equal to so, yes is the starting symbol, so we need to add a dollar and then uh, follow of yes. So, yes is uh, here, then uh, B is following yes. So, first of B contains which symbols? Those symbols will be following yes. So, first of B contains B and D. So, B and D are present in follow of yes. Then we will find out the follow of A. Follow of A. Follow of A is equal to here B can go off and D also can go off by substituting with the value epsilon. Hence, A will be at the end. So, follow of A is equal to follow of S. So, follow of A is equal to follow of S. So, dollar B D. Then, uh, follow of B. Follow of B. Follow of B. B is uh, here. At the end in the second alternative so when uh, the symbol is at the end then follow of B follow of that symbol is equal to follow of the head in that production so follow of B is equal to follow of uh, A so dollar B and D are present right and then here in this B if we consider this production B Yes is following. So, the first of yes, which are the symbols present in uh, first of yes are following B. So, first of yes contains A, B, D, Epsilon. So, B and D are already present. A is not present. So, are uh, A. Follow of D. 
follow of d is equal to follow of d is equal to here if we consider the production b derives d then d is at the end so when d is at the end then we have already the rule that the follow set of this symbol which is at the end is equal to the follow set of its head of the production so follow of d is equal to follow of b so dollar b d and a these are the first and the follow sets of the given grammar let us consider the next example here derives a a a b b yes derives b b a derives epsilon b derives epsilon so now find out the first and follow set for all the non terminals of the grammar so first of yes first of yes is equal to a a derives epsilon so if a goes up then we will get the terminal a and if this b goes up then we will get the terminal b so a b then uh, first of a is equal to first of a is equal to epsilon first of v is equal to epsilon now find out the follow set follow set of s is equal to s is the start symbol of the grammar hence we need to add dollar then we don't have yes in any other uh, productions in the right hand on the right hand side of the productions we don't have yes so only dollar is present in the follow of yes then uh, follow of a follow of a here for this a a is following and for this a b is following so follow of a contains a and b follow of b follow of b here we have got a b for this b the terminal symbol b is following so b is present in the follow set of b let us take uh, the next uh, example the grammar is s derives s derives s x s x or a x derives x derives epsilon or plus yes y or y b y derives epsilon or yes x c so now we need to find out the first and follow set for the non terminals of this grammar so here the we'll take uh, the s yes first now we'll write a first of uh, s yes. 
so first of else is equal to opening square bracket and a these are the two symbols that can be derived from yes in the beginning so the first of yes contains the opening square bracket and a now we take uh, the non terminal x first of x is equal to x production is having uh, three alternatives epsilon plus sy or yv so epsilon is present in first of x and in the second alternative plus sy plus is present in the first of x then in the third alternative y b y is the non terminal so the first symbols which are derived from y or the symbols present in the first of y are present in first of x so y can derive epsilon or minus s x c so here the minus is present in first of x and also if y goes off by the substitution of epsilon then we can get the terminal symbol b so b is present in first of x first of y first of y first of y equals epsilon or minus so epsilon or minus these two symbols are present in the first of y now we will find out the follow set of s x y so first we will write the follow set for s so follow of s is equal to follow of s equals s is a starting symbol of the grammar hence we need to add dollar for that set then in the first uh, yes production in the first alternative yes derives uh, opening square bracket s x closing square bracket x is following yes so which are the symbols present in first of x those symbols are following yes so first of x contains epsilon plus minus b but epsilon can never occur in follow sets so we need to take plus minus and b so plus minus and b these symbols are present in present in follow of yes but here x derives epsilon we have when x derives epsilon this x goes off and the closing square bracket follows yes so closing square bracket is also present in follow of yes then here in uh, if we substitute the x with uh, y b or else if we consider this production that is x derives plus s y y the non terminal y is following yes so here can we take uh, any symbol y so 
plus yes y can get epsilon or a minus s is following x c okay so here if you consider y derives uh, minus x c then uh, this x can go off by the substitution of epsilon hence the terminal symbol c will be following s so c is also present in follow set of s so we have got a dollar plus minus b c and the closing square bracket so these are the terminal symbols which are present in follow of s now we will write the follow set of x follow set of x here uh, epsilon uh, follow set of x x is uh, if we consider here uh, in this production square bracket the closing square bracket is following x so closing square bracket is present in the follow set of x and also here if you see x then the terminal symbol c is following x so c is also present in the follow of x then follow of y follow of y follow of y is equal to uh, so here uh, y we have got and the terminal symbol b is following y so b is present in the follow set of y and then uh, follow of uh, if we consider this production that is x derives plus s y then y is at the end y is at the end so we have the rule that if the non-terminal is at the end then follow of that particular non-terminal is equal to the follow of the head of the production so follow of y is equal to follow of x so follow of x contains closing parenthesis that is a closing uh, square bracket closing square bracket and c so these symbols are present in follow of y so the first and follow sets of the non terminals s x y are computed here let us take uh, one more uh, example uh, consider the following grammar s derives t s or square bracket s square bracket followed by s or closing parenthesis s or epsilon t derives parenthesized x x derives t x or parenthesized x x or epsilon so now we need to find out the first and follow sets of the non terminals in this grammar the terminal symbols are uh, the opening square bracket closing square bracket opening parenthesis closing parenthesis 
these are the terminal symbols and the rest are the non terminals so now first of yes first of uh, first of t or uh, first of uh, x okay uh, we'll write uh, first of uh, x so first of x is equals tx we have got uh, three alternatives for the production with uh, the x as a head we have got three alternatives tx and uh, the second alternative is opening uh, square bracket x closing square bracket x and the third alternative is epsilon so here the we will get the non terminal t and the first symbol that is derived from t is opening parenthesis so opening parenthesis is present in first of x and uh, in the second alternative the opening square bracket is the uh, first symbol that can be derived from x and uh, the in the third alternative we have got the epsilon so epsilon is present and uh, now so first of uh, x contains opening parenthesis opening square bracket and epsilon next uh, the first of t first of t first of t t is uh, having the production t derives uh, parenthesized x so the opening parenthesis is present in first of t then uh, first of uh, yes so first of yes is equal to uh, the symbols which are derived from yes so the production yes contains uh, four alternatives so here in the first alternative t is the first symbol which is a non terminal so first of t is present in first of yes so first of t is opening parenthesis this opening parenthesis is present in first of yes then uh, in the second alternative first of uh, yes becomes the opening square bracket so that square bracket is present in the first of yes so the next one is uh, closing parenthesis in the next alternative closing parenthesis is the terminal symbol that is derived from yes and uh, the in the fourth alternative is epsilon so the first of yes contains the symbols opening parenthesis opening square bracket closing uh, parenthesis and epsilon so now compute uh, the follow set for the non terminals follow set of yes follow set of yes equals uh, so yes is the starting symbol of the grammar hence dollar is present in follow set of yes and uh, so if we check for yes in the productions then uh, if we consider this yes then uh, closing uh, square bracket is following yes hence closing square bracket is present in follow of yes then follow of t
follow of t uh, follow of t here if we check the in the first alternative of the production from s t s so s is following t so the symbols which are present in first of s are following t so, so first of s contains opening parenthesis opening square bracket then uh, closing parenthesis and epsilon epsilon can never occur in follow sets so the next one is the where we have got a t okay t is here so x is following t so first of x first of x is following t hence uh, so first of uh, x first of x contains opening parenthesis and opening square bracket so opening square bracket is already present and uh, closing parenthesis is present and also the opening parenthesis and uh, so now if x becomes uh, okay so here if uh, s becomes uh, epsilon then t becomes at the end so follow of t is equal to follow of s so here dollar and closing parenthesis sorry closing square brackets come into the picture so opening parenthesis opening square bracket closing parenthesis closing square bracket and dollar these are the symbols present in follow of t so follow of x follow of x follow of x is equal to so here if we consider this production x then uh, closing parenthesis is following x so closing parenthesis is present in follow of x and uh, the here if we consider this production then uh, closing square bracket is following x so closing square bracket is following x hence these are the first and follow sets of the non-terminals of the given grammar